going back to the office. <laughs> it has been kind of wild in terms of the uproar it has caused in the business world. So if that's a part of what your work life is like, um, I might have some insight for you today because it's been both messy and also very rich. Messy and rich. Messy like my hair right now. If you are of the ilk that really you do your best work solo at home where you have flexibility and, and you can really focus on your own, that's one thing. Um, you know, and also if you're of the ilk that, hey, it costs me too much money to drive to work and I, I really don't want to have that outflow, that's also a, a, a valid thing. But if you're also of the ilk that, hey, as a team, we need to be physically present with each other and we need that, that engagement for the, our best work. So see how that can all be messy and rich because there's competing needs or at least we think they're competing needs. Now, I am Karen Valencic, if I haven't met you yet, and I work with leaders and teams, helping them generate power with grace in their workplace. My work is all grounded in the martial art of Aikido, which we call the, um, the art of peace. And so it's, but it's a martial art. We get on a mat, we sweat, we get all of that. So I just returned or I'm returning, as you can see in the background, from a three-day seminar. Um, and I haven't participated in one of these for a while where there's a lot of people I'm not that familiar with. But it really, I feel like, is a rich example of going back to the office. And so I've got three things I'd like to share with you in terms of um, observations I made for myself that Hopefully, you can find some benefit in your work. So the first one is, what a gift it has been to have solo practice, to be able to work alone in the Zoom, because we don't have all, necessarily all the stuff that's influencing what we're doing, and we can have that private time to do our own personal development. And I hope that's been a part of your experience these last few years. I know for me, I've been able to practice and connect with people that I would never have practiced with before, but they're in a box. So the first thing is, is recognizing and really thinking through what has been the gift for you in that time. And for me, I know that I have a deeper inner life and inner practice with my, um, my art and my work because of that. The second thing is, one of the things I love about the Aikido practice is it's all about how do I show up in relationship and engage and keep myself and be able to, to not feel like I'm getting beat up and not feel like I'm overwhelming everybody. So it's really an art of personal development. So now when I go to the seminar, there's a lot of people I've never met before and, and some that I have. But what's really rich about that is that it's not people I'm used to. I'm not used to being with them. So it opens up some messy things for me. And the messy is rich because there's people there that have a lot of diversity. They have diversity around their ideals in terms of what the practice is about. They have different physical structure um, in terms of their size and their stiffness or their flexibility and their way they've been trained. And so there's a lot of differences there. And so we actually, you know, we grab hold of each other and we experiment. What is it like to engage? Can I, can I influence your movement? Can I collaborate with you? Can I blend? And I have moments where it's really messy, where I feel like, I feel like I've never practiced before. And I have moments where I feel like this incredible blend with somebody and it really is exciting. And so, and I believe that's, how it is in the office. We have some people that we are so excited to be working with and we have others that challenge us a bit. So really without that challenge and without that um, actual bliss too that you have with those good connections, you don't really grow as a person, I think, in your work. So, so getting back on the mat, going back to the office is an opportunity to really do some professional development for yourself. So the third thing is the first two things I've talked about are not mutually exclusive because 
having the richness of that individual practice, that individual personal development is so important. And I hope that over this time that you've had some time and space to develop yourself in terms of how you manage stress, how do you stay centered, how do you how do you cope with all the intensity that's going on. It's really important, even if you're back at the office, to have that practice and have your organization recognize that as a really important um, thing to support you in. But it's also really important to have that in-person engagement because that's, you know, people can hide on Zoom. People can, I, I find in the groups I've worked with, I hear that people tend to be more passive aggressive on Zoom. So there may be conflict going on, but they're really easy, easy to hide from. So those, both of those things are so truly important. So it's messy, but there's richness in the messiness. That is all I have for right now. And remember, you can have power with grace in the workplace. And I will see you another time. Bye-bye.